So the fans been asking, why in the world would I feed Jim Connors to Yankee TDM? Well, let me well let me solve that right here, right now. See, I didn't feed the gamer to him. You see, while I had a doctor visit, trying to get everything medically cleared for me to wrestle, the gamer informed me that Yankee was at UWF training. And as I arrived to handle the situation, the gamer stopped me and said that he wanted to get his hands on Yankee. I was in no shape to get in that ring, to have any kind of form of physical confrontation with the man. And that's true, I really am not. Hence, I'm not even medically cleared to wrestle or do much of anything. So I agreed. And everything happened the way it happened. Afterwards, the gamer dusted himself off and made a joke about he really needed to get back into the ring and get back into training because he got his butt kicked. And we chuckled and we laughed. Well, I know what's not funny, Yankee. This thing between you and I. You know, fans, I love history. Yankee loves history. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a history lesson. So Yankee TDM and I really didn't have this rocky relationship. My first time meeting Yankee was at another company. And there we got to, you know, talk about a couple things, wrestling and gaming. And, you know, you know, the beginning of the friendship started. Then as time go on, we're, we're meeting each other at other companies. We're traveling together to different companies. Hell, even Yankee came to the Ultimate Wrestling Federation. Hell, he even, uh, he even showcased the Proving Ground World Championship title, which... Let me make it very clear, was asked before and was given permission to. It was our way to say thank you for him coming. We felt very appreciative him coming. Uh, the fans were happy, and I was over the moon excited for him being there. Well, over time, conversations started to happen, and rumors started to fly, and it spread like wildfire. Yankee said this, Yankee said that, Scorpion said this, Scorpion said that. And things just completely escalated. Escalated really bad. To the point where the relationship really wasn't a friendship anymore. See, prior to all the rumors happening and everything, Yankee and I, we had a few conversations about having a match. Talked to him about, you know... That would be definitely one thing I would like to check off my bucket list is to be able to step in the ring with the Yankee TDM. It doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter what style match, just to have that opportunity. And we both agreed. It, it would be a really cool thing to do, give the fans something very special. Absolutely. And I was told he had it under control. He would make it happen. All right. Time goes on. Nothing's happening. All right. Well, word gets out that there was never going to be a match. Why? Because I wasn't two Yankee standards. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't worthy enough to step in that ring with that man. Who did that hurt? That hurt. Well, the Ultimate Wrestling Federation got a, a amazing rebirth, a new area, a new setup. A new entranceway and something that a lot of feds don't have which is a brand new 18 by 18 professional wrestling ring and boy the moment that the word got out about that the ultimate wrestling federation's name started to spread like wildfire just like it did when we first came on the scene people were inviting us everywhere people wanted to come here whoo and now it just amped up twice as much I had offers for all these types of matches, face all these type of guys, and it's absolutely, utterly phenomenal. But you know, there was one match that bothered me that I wasn't able to get. And that was my match against Yankee, a good friend. Well, with all the rumors spreading, all the gossip going around and accusations being, being spread from both ends, the relationship went to shit. But the UWF growing and uh, just everything just going so well, I figured why not bury the hatchet? So I did. 
I reached out to Yankee. I got up and told them I wanted to talk, sit down, and, you know, really go over things and, you know, just bury the hatchet. You know, let's, let's go ahead and forgive whatever was said and done and just move on from there. So we did. We met up. We met up. And then what happened during that meeting? You got a beautiful setup going on, man. I would love to come and do something there. I would love to come and wrestle. You would. Oh man, that's oh man, that would be that would that would that would be great, man. That would that would be fantastic. Absolutely. You know what? You know, we're back on the same playing field. I forgive you, you forgive me, and this and that, whatever. You know, you want to just make things, you know, just run smoother and you got it. Yankee, you got it. Welcome to the Ultimate Wrestling Federation. And you know what? I'm even going to do something a little special because I know you're such a busy guy and you go to a lot of companies and, you know, you know, you enjoy your family time and everything. I'm going to give you a special contract. A contract that allows you to kind of wrestle when you want and wrestle who you want. So this way you're not obligated to wrestle certain guys. You're not obligated to come to every single event. You have that really flexible freedom. You can sell your merch. You can do all that. Sign that down the line. Man, I never seen somebody sign a dotted line so fast. Yankee, do you truly believe in your hearts of hearts that when you came to the Ultimate Wrestling Federation, your match that you were set up to have that your opponent didn't show, that he flaked out? Do you truly believe that, you know, Mike Fresh was just there coincidentally? No, Yankee. Not at all. See, it was all set up, pal. Let me tell you why. Let me tell the fans why things are the way they are. Things are the way they are. My feelings towards Yankee is the way it is. My actions after the match between Yankee and Mike Fresh happened for reasons, and this is why. It's because Yankee... I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of the backstabbing. I'm tired of the bullshit. You wanting to meet up with me to bury the hatchet to the whole agreement to meet up and bury the hatchet and move on wasn't to save a friendship. It had nothing to do with mine and your friendship at all. Want to know what it had to do with? It had to do with you. That's right. It had to do with you, Yankee. I heard about Proving Ground. I heard about the MC. I heard, you know, you're looking to venture out and try new areas and everything like that. And hell, I know that you know that we had the tremendous upgrade. And you figure what better way, what better spot to rekindle who I am. Yankee TDM. Show the world once again who I am, how good I am. Rekindle two things that nobody care about anymore. People don't talk about. People don't care and talk about proving ground. People don't care and talk about the murder club anymore. It's all gone, it's done, and it's finished. That's why you signed on that dotted line, Yankee, because when we had that conversation, when it was put into that contract that you can, you could utilize the ring to to help you grow proving ground. You can you can you can invite your friends, you know, the MC if you wanted to, and everything, knowing ninety percent of the people are gone. And let's fake it, say Yankee. Myself and the Brothers Creed, we don't fear anybody. We don't fear any fraction. We surely as hell did not fear the murder club. We've proven time and time again, no matter where we go, not only do we kick ass, but we win belts as well. Yankee, you do a great job playing with people's minds, getting in people's minds and everything, but you know what? I got you. That whole thing was a setup, Yankee. Because I knew I could I could get you here if I sweetened the deal and made it all about you. And it worked. That's why after your match I did what I did. I needed to poke that bear just a little bit more. And why did I do it, Yankee? Because I did not forget 
I forgave you. I just did not forget all the bullshit that you've done. I did not forget about any of that. All the crap that you said. And I truly, truly did not forget the amount of times that I personally came to you and asked you, can we have a match? Just something special for the fans, something special I can knock off that bucket list. Absolutely, Tom, I got it for you, no problem. I did not forget you coming to me and asking, can I come to the Ultimate Wrestling Federation? Sure. Can I bring out the Proving Ground Championship title, even though it has nothing to do with this company? Absolutely. We'll even promote it. We'll, you know, we'll push the fact that it's a Proving Ground Championship title. I, I did not forget all the things that we've done for you, Yankee. And you couldn't give me one match? I got you. I got you, Yankee. So that's why I did after your match with Mike Fresh. Yeah. It was the creation of the boys. Definitely, without a doubt, you guys jumped the gun. You got some great guys, Yankee. Johnny Reed, Alan Reed, Mike Perillo, Joseph Anthony, Brandon Costelli. But from what I hear, you're really not part of the boys. That's kind of their own thing, you know. You're just you're just you, you're just there for the ride. Like once again, you're there for yourself. The boys are a hot topic. You needed to be there. Put your face in there. Again. About you, Yankee. Now, did I count on all those guys siding with you? No, I did not. Did I did I count on the formation of the boys? No, I did not. Did you guys get the best of me a little bit here and there? Absolutely. Absolutely. But without a shadow of a doubt, after everything, you just couldn't keep me down, Fiji Yankee. They just kept coming. Yankee, we had our match. You couldn't even finish the match. You gotta have your boys come out and help you. You had a betrayal happen. Yankee. I had all the respect in the world for you, man. I looked up to you. Us having a one-on-one -on -one match was, yes, a check off my bucket list. But something for the fans. Something between just two friends. And because I wasn't good enough, I wasn't, I wasn't well known enough in your book. Whatever the case would be. It just wasn't happening. Despite all the shit that we've done for you, the doors that we open, the conversations and the things that we allowed you to do, nothing. I got you. I got you. So that's why I did what I needed to do. So in this situation, I guess, I guess fans, I can be looked at as the bad guy and Yankee being looked at the good guy. Yankee, our first time around, I knew for a fact I had you. Yankee, I had you. I knew within myself, if I ever got in a ring with you, I could definitely go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. I could definitely bring it. I could definitely, definitely put on one hell of a show and give you a run for your money. And there was a small part of me that knew if I play my cards right, if I do what I know, what I can do, and execute it correctly, I could beat you. Right there, Yankee. It was that close. That close. But again, your boys came and saved your ass. People who know me know, Yankee, 
I'm a fighter. I'm a warrior. I go down swinging. I go down very last breath. And one of the other things about me, Yankee, is despite the beatings, I get back up and I keep coming for more. Yankee, you know as well as I do, and I know for a fact you know I'm not medical cleared. I should never step back into a wrestling ring. Not that I suck. I may not be as good as a lot of guys. But at least I don't need my boys to save me. Help me win matches. Yankee. At November sacrifice, I'm willing to do a ultimate sacrifice. I know me stepping back into the ring, I'm basically asking for some serious trouble. Not only am I burning with all these injuries, but I have this new medical thing going on. The wrong hit, the wrong bump. And it's not only my career that's over. So Yankee, putting it out like this there, pal. And November Sacrifice, a November Sacrifice Yankee, it's going to be me versus you in a good old classic one-on-one -on -one match. That's right. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry about the doctors. Don't worry about, I don't want to, I don't want to kill you. I don't want to end your pathetic little career, but if, you know, whatever. No. Don't worry about that, Yankee. See, I'm coming to November Sacrifice, not just as a fan, not to take care of things backstage. I'm coming to, Nove to November Sacrifice to face you. Not only am I going to face you, Yankee, I'm even going to put the Warrior Championship title on the line. Title, Yankee. A title. See, I know, I know having a regular match really doesn't mean shit to you. And you're already in the Ultimate Wrestling Federation. And however you got that full-time contract, it is what it is as far as your contract goes. But a regular match, I know you're not going to show up for. But what if I tweaked it? What if I make it a little bit more special? And put the Warrior Championship title on the line, Yankee. Now you have a title. And yet another company. Again, it's about you, Yankee. But there's one stipulation. Your boys can't come save you. Not only if your boys come and save your ass, not only will you be terminated from the Ultimate Wrestling Federation Yankee, but I'm going to blacklist you pretty much all over the East Coast. So Yankee, November Sacrifice, are you going to show? Are you going to step in the ring with me and face me one-on-one? -on -one? Do you have the balls to do it, Yankee? I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But I'm hoping, Yankee, you're man enough to give me a reply. I'll be waiting.